Welcome to the SCAN YouTube channel. I'm Zacubus and I've got an overview slash review of the Soundblaster E1 portable headphone amp. Now, if you're wondering what a headphone amp is or do I actually need one? Well, no, usually you don't need a headphone amplifier. Um, and that's all it is. It's just something that boosts volume, gives you more gain so you can hear better. Now, an amplifier really only applies to certain headphones that require more power and more juice to run. So. For instance, I have a really sort of high-end headset here that requires 300 ohms. My phone cannot run it, it just doesn't output enough power, so I will need an amplifier to boost it to the right levels. Now, it would still work if I plugged directly into my phone, it's just gonna sound very quiet and I'm not gonna hear as much bass tones, etc. It's just gonna sound a little bit dull. So an amplifier is needed. But if I was to plug in that headset into my computer, which already has an amplifier, it's gonna sound perfect anyway. And most computers do have some form of amplification. So if you're using a headset or headphones on your computer, it's usually gonna be 90% time fine, it's gonna run perfect. But if you've bought a high-end headset that requires more than 80 ohms to run it, you're gonna need some form of amplification. Okay, so this is what comes in the box. You get the Sound Blaster E1, you get a micro USB cable, a four pole analog cable, and a quick start leaflet which is boring and a two-year limited hardware warranty give you a quick rundown on the e1's features so we've got the mic array here which works with your phone uh, that works with the play pause button which answers your phone calls uh, we've got the volume control the on off switch the clip on uh, little clip which you know you can put onto your bag whatever uh, your t-shirt clip it onto things we've got the headphone jacks and you can power up to two headphones to this it also has a mic input as well, so if you've got a better microphone, you can use that instead. Then we've got the micro USB port here, which powers and recharges the device, and also the line in as well, that enables you to plug it into your phone in the first place. Now this is how easy it is to set up. You simply just plug in the 3.5 jack into your phone, plug it into the amp, then plug in your headset or two, and turn it on. Now the only thing I really don't like about the E1 is once you've plugged in all the wires and such, it actually feels a lot bigger than it actually is because it is a small device, but the wires just make it very cumbersome and you definitely notice it a lot more when you're wearing it, uh, when you've got the amplifier in, instead of just going straight into your phone, which is slightly annoying, but it's the price you pay if you need to power up a high-end headset. Now the E1's rechargeable battery lasts about a day, give or take. It depends on how much usage you get out of it. I mean, if you're gonna run two headphones from it, it's gonna run out a little bit quicker. If you're gonna run it at maximum volume the entire time, you know, the battery will drain a little bit quicker. Um, but you know, it usually lasts an entire day. And so if you're doing a long distance travel trip, say you're flying somewhere, it'll usually last the length of the day. So that's a, pretty much all you really need because by the time you get to your destination, you're gonna unplug and you're gonna plug into maybe a laptop or something else to listen to your music, or you can just charge it up yet again and it doesn't take long to charge up. Um, but what I really love about the E1 is that I use it for a secondary sound card pretty much all the time. If I go to a big gaming event or I play in a big tournament, and you know, I'm on a machine that I can't really trust the sound quality of. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be 100%. This thing guarantees me that I've got a headphone amp so I can power my high-end headphones or headset. So many times I've gone to events and my Sennheisers, I just can't hear them because they're too low. Um, there's no amplifier in the PC or the amplifier's just not good enough. And so this gives me an option to always have good sound wherever I go in big tournaments and it's really important to me that is. Okay, to round up this review for the E1, I'm doing a mic test right now with my phone and uh, I've got my window open so you should be able to hear a really rather busy motorway driving past as a good mic test. Um, you know, you, I wanna know how much directional sound goes into this thing. But for the rest of it, overall, I think it's a really nice little product for 40 quid. It does a lot for me because I travel a lot. It's good for my high-end headphones. I can get the most out of them um, when I'm traveling, that is. And also, when I go to live events, I've got a security blanket, essentially. If, you know, if the sound card in the system is a little bit rubbish, I have a substitute which I can switch to to secure that I've got a good microphone input and also you know, that headphone amplifier so I can boost 
the volume up so I won't hear any crowds or loud noises coming in. I can focus in on the game. Um, so I like the E1 quite a lot. Uh, it all depends if you need the usage of an amp in your uh, high-end headset, if you do use one. If you're below 80 ohms, though, guys, remember that you probably don't need an amp at all. Uh, your phone will be able to run it usually okay, and whatever devices you're using your headphones with, probably be okay running it. 